beloved welcome back to my channel is your mystic journey divine coming to you with another channel message but today is going to be especially for my earth signs my capricorns my virgos my taurus energies how you doing out there beloveds if you're here for the first time thank you for coming it is destiny that it brought you here feel free to like share comment and i hope at the end of this video you subscribe Join the tribe. We'd love to have you. For my A1 day ones, how do you? How do boo? <laughs> Thank you for coming, supporting your girl always. Your bookings, your donations, your loving comments. Keep them coming, y'all. I need them, love them, appreciate them. I love you. Anyway, welcome in. What's going on, Earth Babies, Earth Angels? The next three to five to seven days. What should you know? What's coming towards you? Who is coming towards you? Warnings, confirmations, prophecies. The next three to five to seven days. What can you look forward to? What should you look forward for? Or what you should look out for? We're going to ask Spirit to talk. Speak through me to you. Give you confirmation clarity. What's going on, babies? Oh, you know I am a Capricorn sun. Okay, that card flew out. Let's see what it is. Hmm. Seven of Cups. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Something is going on, plaguing your mind. Something from the past, something you desire. Dreams, hopes, ambitions. Missed opportunities. Let's see. Is this your energy or someone? Remembering you. Okay, spirit. We got the hangman. We got the nine of wands. We got the two of cups. And the ace of cups. And we're going to take those. And let's see what's going on. Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Soulmate energy. A connection. A deep connection. A marriage. A commitment. A relationship. Seven of Cups. A dream. Memories. Nostalgic moments. Nine of Wands. The wounded healer, guarded, hey man, sitting back, relaxing, trying to figure it out, maybe a little bit of stuck energy, we have, take this where it resonates, it's either your energy or someone's energy about you. This is definitely regarding a deep connection, a soulmate connection, possibly a marriage. Missed opportunities, it may be in separation, a lack of communication. Someone is thinking on opportunities that may have been lost, missed, not taken. Illusions and dreams of what should have been, could have been. What was supposed to be. But there was something that occurred. The Nine of Swords. Regret. I'm sorry, Nine of Wands. I said Nine of Swords. I'm going to take it. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Healer. This is your energy. Something that happened in the past regarding a connection, a deep connection, a soulmate connection. 
You once had a dream of this connection being your future, being everything you wanted. But there was something that happened that caused some pain, some separation, some confusion. Something was blocked. The hangman energy. Now you may be wondering, where is it going? What's the next steps? Was there an opportunity missed? And was divine intervention a protection? Somewhere deep in your thoughts, you may be wondering if there will be a reconciliation. At this time, you may be very guarded, unsure, definitely not allowing anything to come back from the past to hurt you again. You are in it deep, committed, loving to this connection. It was your everything. It was your source. Your heart was in it wholly, completely, and you believed in it. But something gave you pause as you see the snake. Something made you stop and doubt it. Something made you worry and reconsider. Take another look at it. To get out of your, out of the illusion, out of the dreams, out of that fantasy. And get back into reality. Open your mind up to see things for what they really were. There were things that were hidden. Kept in the dark. But somehow... You feel a transformation coming, a change, a sudden change in the wind, in your emotions. And you're not knowing where to place them or how to feel about it. You're protecting your heart. You're protecting your energy. You're protecting your future. But still, constantly being pulled back into this past connection, this soulmate energy, Trying to figure out if it is truly over or if it's truly something you may want to want, you may want to reconsider, you may want to want, you may re want to reconsider whether or not you want it, you still believe in it, if it is still possible, something you still dream about. You may be seeing this person that you were separated from in your dreams. Surely you understand that they are. Coming to you, calling to you, pulling at your energy. There's unfinished business. There's unfinished business. There may not have been closure in this connection. So you're so caught up in decision, contemplation, confusion, deciding. Yes, you are guarded. But there is a desire to know more, to understand, to figure it out, what went wrong. But you are giving that to God. You've surrendered and you've let go and you say, God, take the reins. You're not sure if you're deciding from a stable heart space or you're caught up in the illusion of the past. That dream, that fantasy, that there is no more a reality at the present moment. You want to be in a place of peace, assuredness. You want answers. You need answers and you're looking for answers to make a final decision about where your heart needs to be. This was truly a soulmate connection. This was truly a soulmate connection. Don't be confused about that. Be confused about whether or not it belongs in your future or if you're being guided to leave it in the past spirit says if you have questions get the answers get the information have the conversation figure it out 
do a Nasdaq. Do a Nasdaq. You can move mountains. If there's a mountain standing in your way from you leading a life you deserve, moving on into a connection you deserve, one that is fulfilling, one that fulfills all your dreams and helps you to let down your guard. And you don't want this past energy to hold you back from receiving that. But if this past energy is meant to be your future, get the answers you need. Get the closure you need. Ask the hard questions and expect the answers you seek. It's no need to be caught up in this constant illusion of whether it is or whether it is not. When you can simply ask and know. And then make a real decision about which way you need to go. No shame, no guilt about feeling what you feel. But remember, we are more than a feeling. We are thinking beings. Use your head over heart matter in this situation. Don't be caught up in fantasy and illusion of what it was and what it could have been. What is it now? Look at it with a keen eye. And your intuition on high. Discern with a clear mind what you see and what you know and not what you feel. Sure, there's room to grow in all our lives, in every direction. But you want to take the lead and not leave it up to just fate. You want to be part of the decision. You are what is at stake. Your heart. Your future, your soul energy. If there's, a, like I said, a true soulmate connection in your future, you can only get it by ending the pain of the past. And if you need closure in order to do that, then do so. There's no map that you need to follow. Who cares about judgments of others? This is about you getting your peace of mind. So that you can completely heal the wounds of the past. You have a lot of healing yet to do. And they are based on how you decide to move. Regarding this connection. This soulmate energy connection. That you are somehow constantly in and out of. In your head space, in your heart space. So there is something... That is unresolved, uncompleted, unfinished. Finish it out and decide your way. But you seek what you need. No one else is to be considered. No one else has a part to play. It doesn't matter what they say, how they feel or what they believe. You are the priority. Your healing is a priority. Your movement is a priority. Don't stay stuck in the past. Don't stay stuck in the past. Heal and move on. To what makes your heart happy. What fulfills you. The connections that are supportive. Loving, kind, generous, healing. Those are where you should be guided to go. Stay in that direction, in that movement. Don't allow your emotions to win at the end of the day. Keep your heart open and love from a pure space. But take your mind along for the ride. Be discerning. Choose you, the healthy you, and what keeps you in a healthy space. That is your reading earth signs. Did I show you all your cards? I believe I did. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Decision Making Time, Seven of Cups, The Wounded Healer, Decide, Reflect, Meditate, Confirmation, Work It Out. Decide to move. Don't decide to just wait. Don't decide to just wait. You move. 
you prepare, you plan, you focus, you organize, you take action. Don't stay stuck. Don't stay stagnant. Don't stay broken or lost or confused. Take action and do what you need to do to get out of that energy and to ground yourself and to be rooted on a strong foundation, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. You have the key. You are the master key holder of your own destiny. So don't put that in the hands of someone or something else. And just wait. And wait and wait. Why you suffer in silence? That is your reading. I hope it was received well. If you have further questions, questions. If you need more personal information on guidance, book a reading. Get the confirmation, clarity, the peace of mind that you seek. Everything you need to know how to do it is in the box below. Be divinely guided. Trust the process. Pain, temp, pain is temporary. It's temporary. Life lessons, challenging, painful, hurtful, meaningful, teaching, growth. Let it be, let it be, let it be. But be part of the process. Be part of the process. Don't put it in the hands of fate. Until we meet again, beloveds. Have the life you desire and live the life you deserve on your terms. Yes? <laughs> God loves you and so do I. As above, so below, as within, so without. I say, beloved. I say.